Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we're going to have a little more fun with a unit that is quickly becoming my favorite TUR in the entire game. And that, of course, is the EZA Fizz Final Form Cooler. I mean, this guy has basically been everything I was hoping for and more. And in this video, we're going to take him on the extreme class only stage of Extreme Super Battle Road to see how well he performs on an event where he's most likely not going to have a chance to fully build up his passive compared to, you know, the longer events like Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and so on and so forth. But I do have a feeling that he's still going to perform pretty well here. Now, as far as the team goes, it's a Terrifying Conquerors slash Transformation Boost team with the double STR uh, coolers, we got Fizz Cooler, the LR Full Power Frieza, Tech Transforming Frieza, Int LR Cell, as well as the STR Bojack. And for the items, we have Princess Snake, Aider, Icarus, and uh, Whis. We are using a Ginyu Support Memory, which gives Extreme Class Allies attack and defense plus 10% for 2 turns when there is a Super Class Enemy once only. So that is the setup, and uh, with that said, Let's jump in and see what happens. Okay, so first rotation looking really good. We got the double coolers. We got Bojack for support. And let's see. So there is the Ginyu. And as far as defense goes, we're starting with 248,000 for the cooler. This cooler that is, STR cooler 213,000 and 243,000 for Bojack. Now those are some really good numbers. But obviously, we still have to be very careful when it comes to extreme SBR. So, uh, I'm going to pop an Icarus to start, just to ensure that we don't get destroyed. Now, I want to keep our coolers together, but Bojack at the end there really worries me. But I, I think we'll be okay with the Icarus. I think we'll be okay. Alright, so let's go for... You know what, let's go for Trunks. I mean, hopefully if we get lucky, we get like a triple super and just kill him. Uh, I'm gonna just target Trunks the whole time and pray that we kill him so I don't have to worry about a potential super at the end. Okay, so it took 30 damage there. We're getting 5.66 mil for the first attack with Fizz Cooler. Some good damage there. Give me one more super though. Okay. So... If we got, like, double supers, I think there would have been a chance that we could have killed Trunks, but unfortunately it didn't happen. As you guys know, that's how RNG goes sometimes. Uh, Bojack, maybe with a crit, though, could still kill Trunks. Okay, not quite. Um, no super this turn. Interesting. Oh, never mind. Okay, so Goten is, is fine. This is okay. It was really the trunks that I was really concerned about. Okay, so now we're gonna do this. We still have the Whis active, or sorry, the Icarus active, so let's uh, kill trunks there. And then, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about Frieza, full power Frieza against Goten, but I think he'll be fine since we do have the Icarus. Yeah, that's definitely gonna kill trunks. He's dead. There we go. Additional, not a super though. But uh, yeah, 5.66 mil guys. <laughs> 5.66 mil for the first super attack. As you might know, he takes 10 attacks to fully build up his passive. So, you know, when he's fully built up, he is in the range of like 7.5 to 8 million plus per super. And this guy can super three times in a turn, which I'm hoping we see at some point in the showcase, but um, his his damage output potential is just just ridiculous, man. It, it's off the charts. Alright, so I'm gonna leave the STR cooler untransformed. I'm hoping that the Fizz cooler can just finish Goten. Uh, no items needed. I trust Fizz cooler's defense here. But once again, you know, I'm hoping like Goten just doesn't have a chance to super. There we go. Okay, second super. He's dead. It's done. It's done. 
there we go. Okay, so like I said, guys, even though on longer events is where Cooler will really be at his full power, right? Like he's gonna really shine on longer events where he has a chance to fully build up that passive. I mean, he's fine with with less turns, you know? He, he's just fine with one or two attacks because he's still hitting stupid hard, uh, even without building up. So uh, let's do, oh my God, that's a lot of attacks. So let's put Frieza there. Let's pop the Icarus again. And uh, we'll just go for type of banish. So let's go for Piccolo first. And then there's no AGL at, oh actually, never mind, Tien. Okay, so we'll go for Tien. And then we'll attack Krillin with the bow deck. All right, let's see what kind of damage the full power Frieza can do. Tanking really well, as expected. And that's a lot of attacks, holy crap. Okay, 6.3, 6.3, not too shabby, not too shabby. And then we do get the guaranteed additional, so that should be GG for Piccolo. And he would have been the main concern for the Fizz Cooler anyway, so I'm glad he's out of here. Triple, oh my god, triple super. All right. Okay, so this is what I want to see from Cooler. This is what I want to see from Cooler. Three supers right off the bat. It's crazy, man. This, this, this full power freeze is crazy. And... This guy's getting additional two, so Tien is dead. Alright, so only three more guys to worry about. This team is pretty good, guys. This team overall, like, <laughs> Transformation Boost is, is getting quite, quite insane. Uh, do I want to leave STR Cooler? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll leave STR Cooler in the front. Um, there's no type of advantage, right, since Tien's dead, so... Let's go for Krillin, give him those. Let's go for, ooh, let's go for Roshi. Probably finish him off. And then we'll go for whoever's left. We haven't been getting, been getting supered a lot, I've noticed. Like we've been getting pretty lucky with RNG, um, which is nice. I, I think so far we only took one super. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only been one super attack so far. So great RNG, but also it's just this team is I think we're killing them too fast. We give them a chance to actually attack us. Okay, 5.3 mil for super. One more. A normal. Okay, so just the one super this time. Just the one. Still waiting for that triple super turn, man. We got two though. We got two. And even if we actually got an additional super, we couldn't have gotten three because uh, the second super would have killed Gohan. So it doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay. Final stage here, let's pop the Whis, alright, and then, ooh, we're gonna get the guaranteed crits against Goku, so he might actually be dead here, he might actually be dead, uh, ooh, so we can't, you know what, this might have been a mistake, this might have been a mistake, I can't actually get a super off with the Frieza, his defense is, is, is looking rough, um, I don't want to split these guys up though, but I kind of want to put Cell there, but then there's also a lot of Fizz attacks. We'll leave it as is. It was a bit of a mistake, I think, but um, it'll be fine, I think. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. And we've got Whis active. 40% damage reduction is no joke. So it shouldn't be too bad. And the super is here, which is ideal. 171k? Alright. We can take that. We can take that. Yeah, I remember these guys are pretty dangerous. These guys were were quite dangerous. So I gotta be very, very careful here. Hmm. As long as we don't die though, I'll be fine. Hopefully, um Goku doesn't super the Frieza. Is he dead? Oh, Goku's dead. <laughs> Damn, okay. Never mind. 
and nothing to be worried about. Okay, we got this. We got this. All right, I'm gonna put this cooler here. Um, let's just give him whatever. He already got a super, but let's give him a bunch of orbs. Those for cooler and those for Bojack. Actually, I should have given him the SDR orb, but it's not a big deal. Uh, Gallic Gun taking 183k. All right. Now, of course, this is before we actually have a chance to build up um, any, you know, attack and defense. So, after a couple of supers, that would have hit for significantly less, right? Ah, man, so close. So close to the triple super turn, man. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. We got the we got the the second additional too, but it just had to be a normal attack. Well, either way, guys. Um, hopefully, this gives you a decent idea of how good Cooler is on Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road. He's just great in all events. Let's be honest. Like he he just dominates every event in the game, and I kind of want to take him through like everything that we can. Um, I guess the other things would be like if they're talking about history. Uh, I mean, regular Super Bad Road, you don't really have to see because we already know what he's going to do to that. But there's really no event where, like, Cooler does not excel, you know? He's going to help you with everything. So if you guys have him, get him Extreme Z Awakened and uh, have fun with him, man, because he is absolutely amazing. I, I do think he is one of, if not my favorite TUR in the game right now. And this is, like, over... The new Gohan, it's over, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, over Tech Ultimate Gohan. I'm not saying like he's necessarily better than Ultimate Gohan, but I mean, it's close. <laughs> it, it's close. I know that might sound crazy to some people, but I do think um, he deserves to be in the conversation for best TUR in the game right now. I mean, it's, he's just so good, man. And like, even compared to Tech Ultimate Gohan, who takes a long time to stack up. This guy is hitting for 4 or 5 million right off the bat on turn 1 and getting up to like 7, 8 plus, right? And his defense is no joke either. Like he's starting with over 200,000. And then when you build him up, he gets to like 350, 400k defense, which is good enough to take almost a super from anybody in the game. And uh, look at that sticker effect though. <laughs> Can't get over how good good that sticker looks, man. This guy deserves a sticker over anybody. Okay, like throw a sticker on your cooler if you have him, because he that's awesome. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be today's video. Um, I might be back with some more cooler stuff in the near future, so stay tuned for that. But uh until next time, or wait, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. Wait, why is there no music? One sec. Let me play something. That's fine. Okay, so um, yeah, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.